also worth good as a machete. One inch from having a boot full of mud diarrhea. Don't step there. Seventh evening, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Me and Dave got out here and we're set up on this little bit of standing beans yet. So we had a good food source for late season here and deer have absolutely been slamming it. We're actually after a management buck here. He's got a kind of a just a, not necessarily a brow tine, but he just has a one split on one side and then a main frame eight point on the other side so it's just a funky six point so he's been hitting these beans out here the last few days and this morning he was not too far from here and he showed up about a half hour before daylight so he's in the area we're hoping he just gets up a little bit earlier today and feeds in the daylight before dark so we're gonna sit tight and wait for these deer to head to food so see what happens hopefully things get pretty wild from some CRP and bedding about maybe four or five hundred yards away so they're kind of moving back and forth out there I think next few days we're gonna kind of get a lot closer and try to sit some of the blinds or try to hang a set or something but about 15 20 minutes of light left we'll kind of see what happens but it's been a pretty semi eventful evening so far so can't complain too bad Well guys, it is just after one o'clock. It's a little different than it was this morning. We got at least three inches of fresh white snow. So hoping these deer are going out to food this after this hoping these deer are going out to food this evening and hopefully I can stick an arrow through one and release the thwack and we don't have much trail cam pictures of them ourselves. But I did make a little 3D rendering of this buck just a little bit ago. Didn't take me long. This is him. So he's got a nice little split right here. Basically almost like a big brow time with a split. And then he's got, yeah, four on this side. So pretty funky buck, but he's a good management buck. So me and Dave are going to try to stick an arrow in him yet this week. So see what see what we can do. Oh yeah, how does that look? Pretty good. Let's get after it.
new location. We got into that redneck blind and figured out that where we were sitting last night, where we saw the deer was actually another finger woods over. So when we were in the blind a little bit ago, we had a straight east wind and it was blowing right to where we saw the deer. So we decided to back out. We're gonna try to hunt there a different evening when we got like a west or a north wind. And we drove to a different farm and we're gonna do a little doe patrol. So we got a blind out here we're gonna go to with some standing beans and hopefully we can get some does in the range and both release the thwacking. So let's get out there. It's about three o'clock. So let's see if we can still get something yet. All set up here in the blind. It's waiting on some does. Like we said, plans changed. We kind of misinterpreted where those deer were crossing on the other farm where we're hunting that one buck and our windows going right to where they were hanging out last night. So we ended up ditching that property and went to a different farm that we were able to hunt and went after some does. So should be a bean party tonight. Got a ton of uncut beans surrounding us and hopefully deer are hungry after this fresh snow we got this afternoon and come and feed. But I mean, it's probably right around freezing. Got a gentle east wind and should be perfect for us to, to whack a doe here, so. Should be good, hopefully things get wild. It's December 29, back out here chasing the buck we call that one. We're out here with like a north, northeast wind, which is pretty decent. From where the deer came through the field on Monday evening, we should be sitting pretty good. But we snuck in here through the creek so that none of the deer and all these fingers of woods and ridges don't spot us coming in. And we're sitting here waiting waiting on them deer to come out to feed. We saw quite a bit of deer traveling, I guess you could say along this ditch right over here. We see quite a few tracks in the snow. And when we were out Monday, the snow hadn't come yet. It all came Tuesday afternoon. So all these tracks are within the last day. But we're hoping to have these deer come by this ditch and I'll have about a 30 yard shot. Otherwise, if they get inside these beans, should be able to make, should be able to make something work. But I'm not sure if it's like, high 20s low 30s out and deer should be hitting up food so all we gotta do is wait hopefully things get wild and we can release the thwacking on that one all right guys we got some movement a couple hundred yards out on the top of a ridge looks like a few little bucks pretty nice mature buck up there as well and a couple of those getting bumped so hopefully they work their way this way but they're in a good position where they aren't going to smell us if they come down where they are now so all we got to do is wait and see what happens
Looks like a north wind like we expected. Straight that way. Right past us. Right down this tree line. Up and down. It's him. It's him. 100% him. Dude, dude, switch, switch spots.
He's still in that car right there. He's standing up. They might come back, possibly. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Man. <gasps> they might calm down. I mean, those dogs are just standing. He's right, just going around the corner. You can just see the back end of him. What corner? Oh, the backfield, the CRP field. Oh. We'll see if he circles around to us. Oh, why? What happened, Dave? Well, we had all the deer in the field. Everything was going good. Had that one pesky doe go downwind. She didn't blow, but she trotted off and it made all the deer leave. But we're watching that group of does that headed off and then all of a sudden they all tails up and running up the ridge. Another group comes running down and they all leave. And sure enough, here comes Coyote trotting across the field. So he bumped them up and over. I'm not sure where he went. I think he was circling around that CRP, but hopefully that didn't ruin the night. our guy. There's that one. Hopefully they can work into the woods. But I think that's that other guy went in the woods already. Okay. Yeah, I see him. Heading in after him. I wouldn't say it's totally bust. Like I said at the beginning of the hunt, to Johnny, if I even see him, I'll be happy. And we had him at 60 yards, so looks like they circled through the woods and met up with that group of does, and they're heading straight away from us west. So we'll be able to slip out of here because he's the only buck we're after, so there's no sense staying in here and clearing the field that dark. So we're gonna ditch out of here and chase him probably tomorrow night. Hopefully a southeast wind isn't too bad. If he beds in the same spot they did tonight, we'll be sitting good, but yeah, see what happens. Stick with us. We'll be back out here tomorrow night, and hopefully we can release the thwacking on that one. Well, it's December 30. Back out here in the same Rennick blind me and Johnny were last night. It's about a quarter after two o'clock. The deer came out around four o'clock, so we want to get out here plenty early so we don't bump any deer or have them see us where they're bedded on those ridges. So we're out here. I'm in this blind, and we actually got a picture of that one early, early this morning by the blind he's in, probably 100, 150 yards to my northeast. So we're gonna sit two different sections of standing beans and hopefully these deer come in to feed and hopefully that one is amongst them. So we're gonna sit here on pins and needles and hopefully we can get them to come in and get a shot and release the thwacking. But I believe it's probably our last night out here this week. So this is kind of our last chance on this trip and hoping we can capitalize and get that one. So stay tuned, it's about to get wild.
wind completely switched from a northeast to a southeast. So I'm going to be covering this field right here. Dave's going to be covering the field we were on yesterday, and hopefully he decides to show up. Pretty calm evening. Like I said, it's a southeast, so deer should be looking for food yet. So just hoping tonight's night and one of us can release a thwacking on this old bruiser. Got about three hours yet, so anything could happen. Well, it's almost four o'clock, guys. I've had maybe about a dozen does working to my east, and I just don't know if they're just seeing me in the blind, seeing my silhouette. I had one window open and the other window I didn't have any screen over it so I'm not sure if I just caught my silhouette at one point in time but I've had a couple of groups of does kind of move in and it, every time it wasn't even me they were just looking out past me and out in these other fields and kind of just turned around and just headed off. Nothing spooked, they just kind of meandered off. Hopefully that one walks down that CRP right down to Dave's bean field and gives him a shot. So. It's gonna be kind of tough if I get them in this field, I think, but we're gonna try to make it work. Some new does that just moved in behind me from my south. I got this buck that just popped out to my south like 70 yards. Had does in my beans looking over there, so I thought for sure there would be a buck, and sure enough, but it's just a smaller, younger eight point. So, first I thought it was that one for a second, so I got my heart racing, but there's still time. Seems like a lot of the deer were betting on the east side of the property tonight. Dave's hardly seen any in his beans, so we'll see what happens. Still some time left. Hopefully we can still get her done. I think that might be him. Yep, that's it. Alright. Well guys, sorry I couldn't get any video of him. I had to get set up. Towards Dave's blind, then headed south. So he looks like he crossed a little ditch creek towards a bean field to my west. Hopefully, he gets eyes on him and get a shot if he gets close enough. Whew. Hoping for the best. Hopefully, I hear a thwack. I just heard a shot. He 
just shot him. No way. Oh my word. I legitly just pulled up my binos because I saw him cross and do an opening and just saw him jump and kick. <laughs> oh, open the shot was good. Yes, Dave. Oh man, they did the complete opposite of what they did yesterday, guys. They were betted on this the west side of the farm yesterday and came down on a northeast wind. Wind completely switched today. And it was a southeast wind and he betted on the east side of the farm. And he came out a lot later. Wow. Well, guys. <sighs> Shot that one. Probably like 10, probably like 15 minutes ago, maybe. Oh, my. I had the does right across the creek from me. And Johnny all of a sudden starts texting me like, that one's in the field to the south of me. And he's heading towards the does. Does end up crossing the creek to my south and they start veering away from me at like 60 yards and a buck comes out behind them at like 60 yards and I knew I couldn't shoot him. I'm like shoot there goes my chance and he starts walking off and gets to the beans and I grab the camera off the ground and start filming and and it's a little bit lower light for the camera so you can't quite tell it's him or not and all of a sudden that one steps out from the creek i was looking at the wrong buck and that one comes out at 40 yards end up stopping him once and i was about settled and he took a few more steps and i had to stop him again but i got on him settled and shot the shot sounded solid like mid body like middle of the body but he ran 100 yards to the edge of the beans and stopped looked around and then trotted into the woods so that's making me think it's a liver, maybe back of the lungs. So, even stomach, I don't know. It's just too low light and I don't have a Luminox, so I don't know where it hit him. It just sounded like a good thwack. So, hoping I got him. It's hard to say at this point, but, oh man. We're going to quick pick everything up in the blind and take a look at where I shot him and check the arrow. I think it passed through because I didn't see it in him when he was out there in the field. So, we're gonna go out there and see what we got for blood and check back later, see if we can find the arrow, guys. I am psyched. Just obviously nervous because I'm not sure if I got him or not, but feel good about it, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, definitely blood spray. some pretty good blood. It looks good, like there's like he's already bleeding pretty good. Guys, it's 8.30, I'm giving them three and a half hours to expire. We kind of watched the footage over, at least the audio, since I didn't have any cameras playing on them when I shot them, but I had my phone playing in the blind. And you definitely hear like almost like a watermelon thwack when I hit them with the arrow, so. Sounds good, and we got good blood, so we're pretty positive he's dead, but. We gave him plenty of time, and we're gonna slowly creep in there and follow that blood trail. So, we're gonna head on in there, see what we find. Hopefully we got him.
it even like deploy? I don't know. It probably shut once it got back. Man. Oh, is that a bed right there though? Yeah, it's definitely a bed. Okay. I think. It looks out flat like he bedded. That worries me a little bit. It's bleeding. Oh, dude, he's right here. Are you kidding me? Dude. <gasps> yes. Where am I? Now let me just get this arrow in the quiver. Yes. Dude, dude, yes. 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 <laughs> oh, man, dude. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, my. Wow, I smoked him. Dude, it looks like it at least. Oh. Dude. That heart shot. Looks like it. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> David. Yes. What did you do? Oh, wow. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> This thing is huge, man. Oh, man. Dude, Spin him over here. Spin look at him. all the scars. <laughs> wow, dude. He's Congratulations, dude. That is oh, wow. a stud. Wow. <laughs> the biggest body deer I've ever walked up on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that yeah, shot son. was just money, dude. I think I smoked him. Dude, if... If we got this thing and it's in the heart, that just goes to goes to show how tough these old bucks are. He made it a long way. He had to run at least two to three hundred. I mean, like two to three hundred, I would say. Yeah. And it's just like once he got out of those beans, it was just like a constant like line of blood. It wasn't just spray. It was like it was just gushing out the whole time. Oh yeah. It looks like he bed there and then like 10 yards away from there, then got up and then bed again. Looks like he was bedded. Mm-hmm, died so. in his bed. Wow, dude. And what were you doing, Dave, before we hunted tonight? I was just practicing on the, the old blind chair at 40 yards because he was at 60 last night and I was waiting for him to get to 40 and never got that chance so i thought i'm gonna make sure i'm comfortable shooting at 40 because that's kind of the farthest i feel comfortable shooting a bow on a white tail and i'm gonna make sure i'm comfortable so that when if it does happen then i'm ready and i'm not rushed and i'm not nervous and iffy about it but literally he played it exactly how i had practiced and he came out at 40 yards got him stopped and it looks like i smoked him dude Oh man. <laughs> what a bruiser, dude. I I don't even know what to say. Doesn't even feel real. <laughs> I just seen a big body just laying here. Just <laughs> You have no idea what we're both thinking. We thought, man, he got out of his bed. Maybe we just bumped him. Who knows what? And it just took looking up and he's right there. Well, like we were getting Jeez. in the woods and we hear stuff running. We're like, oh shoot, was that something? But it was just some rabbits inside the brush. Oh, he's got some missing hair all on his shoulders and scars. And oh man, he's all scarred up. Oh, he's a tank, dude. He's an older deer. <laughs> That's wow. probably my biggest to date, I think. Yep. It's a crazy Big old six side. point. Crazy. Big old six point. <sighs> just a gorgeous evening in God's creation, just seeing all his creation and the, just the gorgeous snow and God, just beautiful out. Just watching just, these mature bucks do their thing, man. Yep. Just doing what big deer do.